Greetings, beautiful energy. Let us take a look at what is going on in love for you. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. So let us see what this means. The Seven of Swords is someone watching you. Yeah, you could be feeling like people are judging you. The first card is judgment. Um, I feel chosen. And this is a love reading. I hear epic. Um, you are like someone someone is someone is um like really into you like you are someone's person but and i feel like a lot of people know this um but you may be running away from this person and they they publicly choose you yeah someone publicly choose you is in pursuit of you but you're like trying to dodge someone so this could be a vice versa energy someone on a public platform is looking for you i'm getting that with the seven of swords here along with the judgment card here so someone is wondering like why you're playing hard to get or like why can't they ca like maybe they want to get your name or get your location here with this judgment card so this person they, they someone i'm feeling like this is a new person two of diamonds this is a new person this is a person that's really interested in you a new person is really interested in you they want i hear fairy um they, they they're like so intrigued by you they're like chasing you like following you around like trying to get your attention this is what i'm feeling like right um it's nothing creepy it's just this person they, they just like they want they, they don't want to stop talking with you they want to keep up with you you may be busy always at work or whatever yeah the queen of wands so this is someone they're so this person is just so so into you but i'm getting an energy where you like you are busy or you're not settling down right now or you're just handling your business right now or something like that but i'm telling you like this person someone is set on fire for you i'm like a new flame with the judgment card and the wands energy the two of diamonds also there's a person that has never felt this way dreams card about anyone they feel like you're out of their dreams. So that is why they're trying to catch up with you and talk with you. Someone just wants a minute of your time. Like, can we talk? Just hold up. This person, they're, like I said, they're really in pursuit of you. For real. Like, they, they just want to, 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 to you to slow down. I just want to get to know you. They're saying, so why are you so busy? Wait, like, hold on. Why are you so busy? Someone may be a judge here insecurities i just feel like you don't have the time you don't have the time you may feel like you don't have the time for dating you don't have the time for work right now you're you're focused on something else like your money and your career perhaps rejection you're also focusing on your wealth your health and your your wealth here and your protection from um some low-key vibrations that you like you are dealing with but someone is so fascinated by you. You see the things that are low key about you that you are dealing with on your own. This person they somehow can sense it. They don't know that is why they're here, you know. But that is why they are here. Let me tell you, that is why this person is here. Right, let us say um I'm seeing a judge. She's a judge, a feminine judge, a female judge. And, um, you so you know how, you know, the attitude of a judge, right? The characteristics that you'd expect, but somehow she also has her purse, something personal going on, like something, imagine she has something paranormal going on in her life, something that she's not really talking about. This could be about some inheritance. This could be about like, like she's doing her own research into something and it seems sort of dark and eerie. I don't know what it is. Maybe this judge is self discovering. Um, so this could be you or someone else's energy. So whatever it is that you do, like low key, this person is really, really, they don't, it's like, they don't, this could be a grandmother I'm getting or something about your grandmother, but this person, they don't necessarily know what you're dealing with. They just have a sense that there's something about you. This person is a mystery also. Like you may end up giving this person your time and finding out that they can help you in some way shape or form here like they have some type of information that can help you uh, get get to where you need to get so you're i feel like you're going to be partnering with this person 
be, just because they they are they show up for you to help you mm -hmm. there's someone new showing up is the energy that can see your past or feel your spirit and they're showing up to be in your life to be with it's to be with you it's like the da vinci code and this person is also smart also in um a researcher they also like the dark arts whatever guilt yeah this person is also like doing there i don't know like you and them share something similar i don't even know how this person found you facade i hear live by someone could be named live all right the lover's card is next this person is your dream come true person oh yes dreams card this person you're going to realize with this lover's card is a realization, the lover's and the judgment card here. Like a true realization, a realization of true love, dream come true love. The, the love, the, um, along with the aim, the sorry about the stuttering, the two of diamonds card, right? This is a dream come true love. This is something that like someone waiting at your doorway, I'm getting, I hear show up. Like you may come home and see someone sitting on your doorway waiting for you. And I hear you're busy. The Queen of Swords. You may even hear someone knock at your door. Knock, knock. Like someone showing up to speak with you. Or to profess some love for you. They may even send you a message. This person, they've been looking out for you. They've been waiting for you. Yeah. Ace of Cups. Um, this is really true love. This is your dream come true person. This person, they may have like appeared out of a romance book, appeared out of Egypt and come back to, uh, appeared from a past time to be here now. It's so strange. But this person that is showing up, they know that you could be an editor or you write some type of article or something, you're, or you are a producer, or you may be into food or something, right? But this is your person. The Ace of Cups and the Lover's Card, this is a win-win situation. I don't think love reading can get better than this for you, Ken Syrian. Right? Except now we see the ten of wands here where you I feel like someone, either you or this new person, were struggling. Um, like maybe someone had a hard life or they had a hard story in some way, shape or form. So it may be hard for you to accept the present. Someone may be a farmer. Um, you've done a lot of tilling of the soil. You've done. A, you've invested a lot of hard work. You've had your 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 misfortunes in life and stuff like that to be where you are now. Whoa! I just feel like this is a blessing. This is a blessed love. Oh my gosh! The six of cups. I was saying, how can it get any better than this? The Six of Cups is a soulmate energy. Pairing that with the Two of Diamonds, this is a real love. Real gestures of love coming in here for you. And I feel like someone has put a, um, a lot of thought into this. And I feel like this is the person that you are thinking about. They're coming around with an offer. Because they, they're so into you. But they feel like you've been like turning them down or something. But I feel like this time you may give in. You may answer. You may you may allow. You may accept. Because you can see how this person is truly feeling. You may give yourself a break from that ten of wands energy. From doing everything on your own. From feeling stressed. From the humiliation. From the toxic relationships that were not going anywhere. You're getting a break. You're giving yourself a break. You're allowing yourself now to experience comfort, safety, love, security. Why are you giving yourself a break? Because this person is persistent. And I also feel yeah, it's eight of cups now. So much love here. This person loves themselves so much too. This person is a giver. They love themselves so till it overflows. They have no problem. Eight of cups, eight of cups, six of cups. This person has no problems giving you everything and anything that you ask for. Easily. Without a doubt. No doubt. This person loves you so much. I'm telling you, they may say it to you. Because the, the words may manifest out into the feeling that they feel may form into words. So this person may say it to you. 
how they really feel about you right they may tell you that you turn them on and all these things too okay this person they want you to know how they feel about you this person they're thinking of writing you a letter all right you may give this person a chance it's how i'm feeling like it's so real this person loves you so much this person recognizes you like you are their own person they will never let you down is the energy and i'm feeling you love yourself too give yourself credit because you've been loving yourself you this person they they're not even fussing with you they're not asking much of you because all you have to do is to be yourself. Just be you. You are enough. You just being you is, is, is enough love that I get from you. Because you're just a naturally loving person. You're just standing there smiling and love is just pouring out of your aura. That is what this person love about you. That you are just full of love. You're so full of love but you, you probably don't even recognize it. How loving you are. How truly beautiful and loving you are. All of this love reading is about just real love. King of Diamonds. And this person is showing up. Mm-hmm.